So as you all know, Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 2 is about to come out and I've immersed myself in everything Harry Potter. I wanted to reread the books again. I've read reread some of them and I don't know why I haven't reread all of them, but I wanted to before the movie. And I'm on the last one and it's just so amazing. I'm as I have immersed myself in everything Harry Potter in my day-to-day -day life, I've keep on drawing connections. At least once a day, I do something, say something, talk to someone about something, and I'm like, hey, that's like, yeah. So, uh, here are some of my things that I've recently thought or connected to. I went on a trip recently, and I went into the store, and I was walking in with my parents, and um, on a table it said, there was a sign, it said, buy Philosopher's Stone. I wish I took a picture, but I didn't. And you could buy your very own Philosopher's Stone. And I was like, I turned to my mom, oh my goodness, it's the Philosopher's Stone. I wanted to buy it, I didn't. It was just a regular rock, I don't know why they were, it didn't have anything to do with Harry Potter, they were, I don't know why they were selling it. But I, I wanted my own Philosopher's Stone, not to use, just to have. And this other time I was talking to my mom on the phone and she was like, we were talking about something like, oh, if you had to go to the hospital or something, Madame Pomfrey would just fix you up really quickly and it wouldn't hurt and it wouldn't be painful. I'm like, oh, but remember the time when Harry had to grow back his bones and drink Skella Grow? That was really painful. Yeah. So whenever I'm work and I do have to lift something heavy or move something or do something but I don't want to get it, I wish I was a witch, but I'm sadly only a muggle. Or I always wish that I had the force so I could, you know, just lift it. it I, I tried, it doesn't work. So on the trip that I took with my family, we took this little boat ride and it goes along a tiny little river and there's a bunch of houses and you can see their backyards and there's there are these beautiful, gorgeous houses. And in one of the backyards, they were growing these little bushes and they are in a maze formation. You know what they were growing them for? Try was their tournament? Uh-huh. I don't know why they would ever do that again. Also, I was jogging one day and these wacko spurts started attacking me and uh, I just felt like Luna. And we all remember Lego as a, as kids, right? I loved Lego when I was a kid and I had tons of different sets of Lego. I had Star Wars Lego, I had basketball, soccer Lego, snowboarding Lego, and of course I had Harry Potter Lego. So today I decided to go and find my Harry Potter Lego and it was kind of just jumbled up with everything else. But here it is. See, that's their like dorm room, their bed. And that's Harry holding the Philosopher's Stone. He's getting from his pocket. That's the Slytherin's headquarters. I also can't stop listening to Hank Green's Axio Deathly Hollows. I just sing it all the time and I listen to it all the time and it's just a really great song and I need Harry Potter. Like Grandy Low needs water. And before Saturday approaches my knee grows or Friday. Actually that's when the movie comes. Oh no, they're all fine. Anyways, yeah, I've been addicted to Harry Potter and they won't stand up. So, uh, yeah, that is all. There. Bye, guys.